What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about lithium polymers. We got some batteries here. We got the new SRD 8600 mAh 4S. This is 14.8 volts. We got two of these. Expensive batteries, so you do want to protect them. We're going to unbox these guys and uh, see what they look like. Previously, and if you check out my videos, I've been using these um, CNHL batteries, 6,000 milliamp, pretty good battery. I'm still using them. I'm not throwing them away. I'm not discontinuing them. I'm not mean like throw them in, physically throw them in the garbage. I mean like I'm still gonna be running with these a lot of runs. I'm gonna be doing because these are not gonna fit on every vehicle. I really love these graphene's 3S and a 3S. I always ran my Typhon 6S and. Uh, I'm going to be running this as well, these CNHL batteries here. This is uh, 6200 milliamps. Uh, what I like about these is these are 90 Cs, okay? The 90 C discharge rate is 90 C, 180 is burst. So talking about burst, this guy right here is uh, 250 Cs. So Cs is uh, discharge rate at what rate it can discharge at so divided by half it would be 125 that's a lot compared to these right here got a lot of juice a lot of milliamps and this is what this baby look like so so from the hobby shop guy I got a little bit of information on these there there's a way to charge these because you don't want to charge these at 8 amp because a lot of people will be like 8.6 amps because 8.6 8600 milliamps so that's not what you want to do okay so something that you want to uh do prepare your uh, battery and let it last longer and give a small slow charge is a better charge and here's the second one so these are what this is what these babies look like compared to this so they're a little bit uh taller in height they're really wide, so if you took one and two, they're still a little bit wide, but weight-wise, they are heavy. If you put two of these, okay, so you guys get my point there. So they are a little bit heavy. Bigger and heavier, you do have an option to put connectors on it as you order, but uh, I do my own bullets. So we're going to be putting 8 millimeter bullets on these. This is an 8-gauge wire compared to the 6-gauge, 10-gauge, I'm sorry, 10-gauge, 10-gauge. So they're all 10 gauge, so these come, so 8 gauge wires, and uh, talking about charge rate, okay, so speaking of the hobby shop guy, uh, he told me, uh, even I thought about it, that's why I asked him, I know I'm not going to throw in a lot of juice into these, uh, 4 amp is what we're going to charge these at, so 4 amp is what these babies going to get, um, also, if I'm running a 4S, from what I understood, from what I know from experience, let's say I'm running a car 4S and I will run this battery. My next run with the 4S would be this battery. That way it takes a beating equally, okay? You can't do six runs on this and then try to put them uh, in series or parallel. They're not going to be same. They're not going to be equally the same in power, okay? So also another thing. So use them. If you do a run with this, do a run with this. If you do another run with this, do another run with this. Okay, so switch them back and forth, back and forth, so they equally take equal amount of beating. Another thing uh, I would recommend people to do is a lot of people don't do this. Even I, I, I originally never done it. You, so you do want to mark your batteries. Like this would be battery one. This would be battery two. So you could take it, take a log of it. So how many times you use this? How many times you use this? Positive and negative also matters. So one more thing I want to talk about. A lot of people has an, uh, focused on that. So, let's say I'm going to jump these two to make it into a series. And uh, this is going to be positive to the ESC and this is going to be negative to the ESC. Next one, I will do it the other way around, okay? Let this be the positive and let this be the negative, okay? Switch them back and forth, okay? So that because it does the... the the current does travel in a direction, so you don't want to go the wrong way, and uh, you don't want one battery to take beating more than the other battery. Let them equally get discharged. Let them equally take the equal amount of beat, so they stay at the same charge. So that way, they're not fighting each other. So if this is a weak battery and this is a strong battery, it's, they're going to fight with each other, okay, uh, to keep it so it needs to push amperage together. 
They can't just one can't just be weaker than the other. So that'd be a lot of cash there. Anyways, guys, small little unboxing and I am gonna be putting a little bit of bullets on these. I'll make a video on that. But thank you for watching my video. If you guys have any questions, oh one more thing before we go. These fit just like that in the Arma Felony with one tray, okay? They fit perfectly. On the limitless, it is a little tall, so you might have to figure something out. You might be able to put it this way, but they do fit in one battery just like that perfectly. I even managed to fit these in my Typhon. It hangs a bit on the edge on the other side where the battery goes. So, and uh, if it fits in a limitless, and if it fits in uh, if it fits in limitless, it's gonna obviously fit fit in other cars. Um, Infraction is another one. Habaz is no problem. Habaz got so much room, you can drop these babies like nothing and uh, strap them up, good to go. So they do fit pretty good in all the cars. And uh, I bought, I'm gonna buy two more of these because I do wanna run a uh, dual motor, dual TP. You guys will see that on my channel. On a limitless, I don't know how I'm gonna fit it. And that was the whole purpose of these because they're a little short pack and they got, they got a lot of punch to it. And they got a lot of amperage, milliamps. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching this little unboxing of these lithium polymers. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. See you guys on the next one.